I wanted to bring that energy to the Billboard stage, especially considering it was the first time that people had been able to identify Nirmani, not Nirmani and Fifth Harmony. So it was an important moment for myself. It's not easy for someone to catch a eye. Cause I've been waiting for you all my whole damn life. There's more than a dozen performances at the Billboard Music Awards, but that one really stood out because of that star quality. And it's rare that I look back at my performances as many times as I did that one. So that means something. I'm really proud of that one. It was an important moment for myself, but also an important moment for this record. Me and Khalid were actually like best friends first. It was two friends that were really passionate to get into the studio with each other. I was a fan of his, he was a fan of mine. Love Lies kind of just fell into our lap. We didn't know what we wanted it to even sound like. I've been a big fan for a while, you know, since she was a member of Fifth Harmony. And, you know, whenever, you know, I'd see anything with the group, I would always kind of notice her. I just always was drawn to her moments in these videos and how amazingly well she, she was able to execute the choreography and she just popped off the screen. I felt like there's something about that girl that the world is going to see one day. Any member of a boy band or a girl group, whether it's Harry Styles or Beyonce, they all have to go through that process of establishing themselves as a solo artist because everybody thinks of their time in the group and you have to take a moment to say, no, this is who I am now. This is who I want to become. This is what my music is going to sound like. Beyonce, what would I say? Her being in a girl group, which was something that I always wanted to do and inspired me to be in Fifth Harmony. She has paved the way for artists like me and I love the fact that she puts her whole heart into anything that she does. She constantly tries to one-up herself and that's something that I want to take and apply to anything that I do. I'm in the studio, starting from the ground up, kind of like co-producing, also co-writing on a lot of these records, so I'm really, really excited for everybody to hear what I've been working on. I love 90s music. I was really inspired by like Tweet, Missy Elliott, Aaliyah, Destiny's Child growing up. I want to take it back to music that I grew up listening to and things that made me fall in love with music and New Orleans has a lot to play into that. It's kind of the concept and the root of what I want my album to sound like. You know, I'm that Southern girl and I want that to translate through the record. Imani has the freedom and latitude to do whatever she wants. She has incredible determination and imagination throughout this whole process in making the album. I think what you could tell about Normani is, is that she had a, a great attitude. You could tell that she was so engaging, not only within the Fifth Harmony music, within her solo music, but also on Instagram, also in interviews. You could tell that she's just a star and she has that quality. Even people that had known her from Fifth Harmony maybe underestimated or didn't know what she was fully capable of. So to me, Normani's already an icon. Now it's our job to show the rest of the world. I want to make records that I'm really proud of at the end of the day, and I know that it's going to be really, really special. Like I can see I'm here to do exactly what I'm doing now and to inspire you know, so many people. And it's cool to, to be able to be a young black woman and killing it the way that I am. And I want to see little black girls and boys win and not be afraid because I'm doing it too. Having fans come up to me and say, oh my God, you're the reason why I'm still here. All I needed to do was come home from awful day and watch you your video to put a smile on my face. Like, that makes everything that I do worth it. I'm just really excited for the ride and be able to tell my own story. And I feel like music is the best language that I have.